Okay, guys, I'm going to be reading number five, but because my lit because my little brother Sai. Hey, I'm not little. Uh, my brother Sai, <laughs> also known as Sanat, hey, chose this book. Sanat. But it's actually supposed to be this one right here, the number two. See ya. But let's get on to number five. It's called Little Miss Tiny. Let's go. Little Miss Tiny was extremely small, not very tall at all. Look, she can fit in that mice hole. Mm. She was so very tiny, she didn't live in a house. Do you know where she lived? In a mouse hole! In a mouse hole. In the dining room of a home, of home farm. You know that dog barking? It's just our neighbor's dog. She had made the mouse hole quite comfortable. Really and luckily there weren't any mice because of the farm cat had chased them all away. Mm -hmm. The trouble was because she was so tiny, she nobody knew she lived there. Oh no. Nobody can, nobody is going to play with her. Nobody had noticed her, not even the farmer and his wife. So there she lived all alone with nobody to talk to. She was very lonely and sad. Oh dear. One, one day she was feeling so lonely, she decided to be very brave and go for a walk and out of her mouse hole she came she crept across the dining room and went through the crack in the door and into the hall to little miss tiny the hall looked as big as a field and she scuttled across it to the back door of the farm luckily of her the let luckily for her the letter box was at the bottom of the door she squeezed herself through and it and onto the doorstep. It was all oh, very exciting. But I don't think so because I never read these books. So. There before her eyes was the farmyard. She went exploring. She came to a door with a gap at the bottom and ducked underneath and ducked it underneath oh my uh oh there inside was a pig a large pig but i don't think it's large mm -mm, it's just large for they'll miss time and if you are as small as little miss tiny a a large pig looks very large indeed. Miss Tiny looked at the pig. The pig look at looked at Miss Tiny. <coughs> <laughs> she grunted and moved closer to inspect his little person who had enter entered the sty. Little 
little Miss Tiny in alarm and shot out of the pig's feet as fast as ever her little legs could carry her would carry her which which wasn't very fast because because her legs were so very tiny she ran round to the back of the pigsty before she stopped she la she leaned against the wall and put her hands over uh, her eyes and tried to get her breath back oh my goodness Suddenly, as she heard a noise, a very close noise, sort of breathing noise, very close indeed. Oh! She hardly dared take her hands away from her eyes, but when she wished she hadn't, what do you think was there? Right in front of her, looking at her with green eyes. Maybe the farmer? Oh no, it's the cat! Ginger, the farm cat, poor, poor little, poor little Miss Tiny. Ginger grinned, showing his teeth. Help! Shrieked little Miss Tiny at the top of her voice. Oh, somebody help! The trouble was at the top of little Miss Tiny's voice was not a very loud place. Ginger grinned another grin. Ooh, the cat doesn't look good. It looks like an evil mouse. No, the cat looks evil. Every day Mr. Strong went home to went home to farm wait, went home farm to buy some eggs. He liked eggs, lots of them. I think he smelled a lot. That day he was walking home across the farm yet when a very tiny squeak when he heard a very tiny squeak. I think it's little Miss Tiny. Tiny! That day he was walking home across the farm yet when he, oh Okay, he stopped. There it was again, around the corner. He looked around the corner and saw Ginger and the poor trapped little Miss Tiny. Shoo! Said Mr. Strong to Ginger and picked up little Miss Tiny very gently. Hello, he said. Who are you? I'm, I'm, I'm Miss Tiny. Who are you? Smiled. Who are you? Who, you aren't you? Smiled Mr. Strong. Well, if, well, if I was, well, if I was, uh, was as tiny as you well if i was tiny as you i wouldn't go wandering around large farmyards but but said little miss tiny and told mr strong about how she was so lonely she had come out to find somebody to talk to oh dear said mr strong well, n well, now let's see if we can can't find you some friends to talk to. And now, every week, Mister Strong collects a little, little Miss Tiny and takes her off to see her friends. Three weeks ago, he took her to see Mister Funny who told her so many jokes 
she just couldn't stop laughing all day. Two weeks ago, he had took her to see Mr. Greedy. He told her the recipe of his favourite meal, but that's much, 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 much too much for a tiny little me. He laughed. Mr. Greedy grinned. For you, for you, for you, he grinned. He said, divide by hundred. Divide by a hundred. <laughs> Last week, Mr. Strong, Strong had took her to see Mr. Silly. And Mr. Silly showed her how to stand on your head. That's very silly, giggled Miss Little Miss Tiny. Ta, 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 hanku replied Mr. Silly modestly. And guess who she met this week? Somebody who's special. Somebody who's become a special little friend. I never thought I've. I, I've never thought I, I'd ever meet anybody smaller than myself," laughed Mr. Small. Little Miss Tiny looked up at him and smiled. You wait till you grow up. You wait till I grow up," she said. That's it for the number five story. So bye guys. I'm going to be reading two, two, three and six later.